Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spin Cycle, the show for reviews of albums new and old. And today I'm going to be doing Lacuna Coil's newest album, Delirium, which was released on May 27, 2016. Hailing from Milan, Italy, Lacuna Coil has been in the music business since the mid-90s. They're best known as a gothic metal band with some symphonic metal influences. They were founded in 1994 under the name Sleep of Right by Andrea Ferro and Marco Cody Zalati. Once they added Christina Scabia, we got this great dynamic of dual vocalists from both Ferro and Scabia. They saw some success in the early 2000s with the release of Coma Lies, and specifically the song Heaven's a Lie, which the music video was played on the Fuse show Uranium quite a bit, and that's how I actually got to know the band. I was introduced to the band in 2002, and ever since, I've been a huge fan of this band, so I absolutely love this band. But they channeled their new popularity into their next two albums after Coma Lies, Karma Code, and Shallow Life. But this also saw a style shift. Shallow Life is more grounded in rock than it is in metal. But they did return to their gothic metal roots in 2012 with Dark Adrenaline, much like their earlier stuff. Now their lineup has changed over the years, but the main figureheads have stayed constant. Scabia, Faro, and Zelati have been constant throughout. But two original members left in 2014, and then a third member left in 2015, so the band has undergone a pretty big shift since their last album. So Delirium marks the band's eighth studio album, and it's a follow-up to 2014's Broken Crown Halo, which is an amazing album. It's the first album since In a Reverie to feature new band members, meaning members of the band that weren't there in the very beginning. There are 11 songs on the standard edition and 14 on the deluxe edition, which actually includes a cover of Madonna's Live to Tell, which continues their tradition of doing great covers. They've done covers of Enjoy the Silence and Losing My Religion, both of which are awesome. Much of the guitar work on the album was done by bass player Zelotti, and he also produced the album, and the album was also the first one recorded entirely in Italy. So there's a lot of personal feelings that went into this album. But since they didn't have a full-time guitarist at the time of recording it, they had to have some guest musicians come in to fill in the guitar solos, um, including Miles Kennedy of Alter Bridge. But the new members, Ryan Blake Folden and Diego Cavallotti, both brought their contributions to the album in some small ways. Thematically, the album deals with madness, both mental illness and the everyday horrors. Hence why they've used straight jackets on their supporting tour. And if you're interested to see how that looked, you can check out my I Was There Last Night episode when I saw Lacuna Coil back in June. It was a great show, by the way. And the album has actually seen excellent acclaim and has charted really well in the U.S. It made it as high as 33 on the Billboard 200, which for a gothic metal Italian band is pretty good in the U.S. Lacuna Coil really excels best when they spread out their strengths, and they do that here in spades. The sound falls in line with their last two albums, which means it's a little bit more metal than it is rock, which is what drew me to Lacuna Coil in the first place. And they certainly don't lean on one vocalist more than the other, which suits them as a band when the two, when Pharaoh and Scabia are definitely in that duet mode, you really get some of the best Lacuna Coil music. And much like their earlier releases, the music is both aggressive and soulful. It has this dark and this mystical aspect to it. But I do have to say, this is another example of an album that should only have the deluxe edition. There's no reason for there to be the standard edition because the other three songs that they added on the deluxe edition should be part of the album anyway. They're great songs. So my top five songs on the album, and to whittle it down to just five was pretty difficult. I gotta go with the title track, Delirium. It's just a great anthem type song. Ghost in the Mist, that's another one of those where you really get that contrast of Pharaoh and Scabia's vocals and it works so well. My Demons, that one is aggressive and it's poignant. It's such a great song. Speaking of poignant, probably the most powerful song on the album, Claustrophobia, definitely has a message with it that I think is absolutely appropriate for this album. And then Blood, Tears, Dust is just another great track off the album. But I would have to say that of all the songs, my favorite one has to be the opening track, House of Shame, because it really does just open up with something crushing, with something powerful. It has that dark gothic tone to it that we come to know from Lacuna Coil. So you know that the rest of the album is going to be more in line with this, and it certainly is. Overall, it can be good or bad when you say that a new album is vintage, but in this case, the vintage Lacuna Coil sound is definitely a positive. 
They've been one of the most consistent bands in metal over the years, and even with significant lineup changes, this album proves they still know how to bring the best of their unique brand of gothic metal. So I highly recommend checking out Lacuna Coil's new album, Delirium. It is awesome. So now my top five for the week um, is just some angry, random, new metal, because I kind of need some angry, random music right now. A Violent Reaction by American Head Charge off of the album The War of Art. I remember seeing these guys live and the dude came out with a shotgun. It was like, whoa. Custer by Slipknot off of Point Five, The Grey Chapter. Just a killer track. This Is Not by Static X off the album Machine. Rest in peace, Wayne. Kill Tomorrow by Mushroom Head off the album 13. That was a great like way to open up an album. And then last but not least, Otep's Warhead off of House of Secrets. That is just one of those songs. When you need to purge anger, that's a great song to do it. Let me know what you think of Lacuna Coil's Delirium, and if you haven't heard it, you should definitely go out and do so. I'm still waiting for some challenges, so send your picks of what you want me to review that you think would be funny for me to review. And that does it for this episode of Spin Cycle, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey gang, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you see, you can click to subscribe to check out my other videos right here on YouTube. Or you can click the link to check out my website to find out about all of my other projects, including my podcasts, as well as my books. So what do you say? Click away.